AI, artificial intelligence. It's the ability of machines to do tasks that we consider are intelligent. AI came to limelight in the last few months, but really the foundations of AI were laid right here in Pittsburgh more than 60 years ago when Herb Simon and Alan Newell invented the concept of thinking machines. Today, we are taking that vision forward by developing AI that can benefit society. I'm the lead PI and director of the AI Institute for Societal Decision Making that works to build AI that can complement human decision makers like emergency managers, public health officials, individuals in making decisions that are more informed, timely, and trustworthy. That's a lofty goal. So how do we get there? So let's start by asking, how intelligent are computers, really? Until about a decade ago, AI researchers were still struggling to get a computer to recognize an orange from an apple reliably, given its images, no matter the background. A task that my six-month-old nephew can do easily. And now, not only have computers learn to do many visual tasks better than us, but they have learned to have a conversation, quite like my six-year-old. They both can talk, and a lot. <laughs> but not always with full understanding, and not always very intelligently. Consider this example of chat GPT. It's correctly able to answer who the mother of Tom Cruise is, but if you reverse the logic, reverse the question, it cannot answer it. It can still have a great conversation, right? It can explain why it couldn't get the answer. It is because technologies like these, called large language models, simply work by predicting what's the next word that comes in a sentence. However, despite their shortcomings, AI technologies such as these are poised to contribute three to four trillion dollars annually, according to a recent study by McKinsey. That is the equivalent of the entire GDP of UK in 2021. So given this disruptive potential, can we make computers more intelligent? Not just better at predicting what comes next in a sentence, or identifying objects and images, can we teach computers to make decisions? That is what drives my research. Now, it's actually not something new. I'm sure each one of us has searched for something on Google or Amazon or Netflix. The computers behind the scenes are actually making decisions about what to show you in response to your search query. They are learning based on the links you clicked, the movies you chose to watch, the products you bought. And they are making recommendations about what they predict you might like or not. Right? So given this great profitability of search and product recommendation engines, why am I not working on one of these engines maybe with one of these large tech companies. The reason is what I want to work on is can we teach computers to make decisions for the benefit of society? So one of the societal challenges we are working on is maternal health. In the US, a mother is three times more likely to die of a pregnancy complication than any other industrialized nation. I'm sure we all remember the case of Terry Bowie over this past summer, a decorated Olympian who died of childbirth complications. Lives such as hers can be saved if we can make a personalized intervention to all mothers at risk. 
However, there are not enough community health workers to assign who can make a personalized call or a personalized visit to all mothers who might need such an intervention. AI can help. AI can help by predicting the risk of a mother developing a life-threatening complication, such as eclampsia or perinatal depression. But in fact, it can do more. It can search through patient characteristics and past engagement with health services to identify who's most likely to benefit from such an intervention. Teaching computers to make decisions is much more challenging than teaching them to make predictions. In particular, decisions need to rely on the uncertainty of a prediction. If we just made recommendations or these interventions to mothers who were predicted to respond positively based on their past engagement with the health services, we would be making poor decisions because we would ignore the mothers for whom we don't have enough data. We are developing decision-making algorithms that can estimate the uncertainty due to, uh, or, or the risk due to uncertainty, and those algorithms can actually decide how to trade off risk versus reward to make an effective decision, and then update, update the measure of risk based on the outcome of the decision. In fact, our team has worked with several NGOs and demonstrated that using such AI-driven recommendations, we are able to improve the engagement of maternal patients with health services by up to 30%. Another societal challenge we are working on is disaster management. How to bolster effective and rapid response to emergencies. Consider an emergency manager in a setting like, or a re recent disaster, let's say the Maui wildfires. These emergency managers are making critical decisions, life and death decisions, under intense time pressure, lots of stress, with very partial and limited streams, multiple streams of information, but partial streams, when they themselves are overwhelmed, tired, and maybe hungry. Our team has worked in several disasters to deploy AI-based drones and robots that can enable an emergency manager to safely survey an area without risking the, rice, uh, the lives of first responders. Not only that, our team is also working towards using AI to triangulate information quickly from multiple sources of information so that they can identify high-risk regions they can play out scenarios for the emergency managers to help them understand what might be the consequence of an action they take or a decision they make. And it can recommend promising actions. However, applications like these, disaster management and public health, are nowhere near the product and search recommendation engines I talked about, right? These are societal domains. And it's crucial to consider human factors. In fact, I believe that without understanding human decisions, we cannot leverage the full benefits of AI-enabled decisions in societal contexts. This critical need motivated me to put a team together where AI researchers work in close collaboration with social scientists sociologists, psychologists, behavioral scientists who understand human decisions. This collective intelligence of AI and human decision science researchers is enabling us to make better recommendations by modeling how people respond to recommendations. If the same thing is recommended to you over and over again, does that make you more or less likely to adhere to that recommendation? What if you knew that recommendation was generated by an AI? People are forgiving if a human makes a mistake, but not so much if an AI makes one. So together, this collective expertise is also helping us design better AI algorithms that can take 
into account human supervision. It can leverage feedback from humans in the form of nods, preferences, expert demonstrations. And it's also helping us understand how humans would trade off multiple competing objectives, like fairness, ethics, time to decision, efficiency, and so on. Another key challenge that comes up in such societal context is that despite all the AI innovation that can potentially have benefit for society, that technology may not be adopted because human decision makers don't trust it. Even with AI that cannot understand and cannot explain, as we saw, we can still develop trust. And trust is critical in these scenarios. Building trust requires close participatory design with all the stakeholders, starting from the very beginning. What problem should be solved? Should AI even be used? Vetting the data and the algorithms, not just training them in the wild where we have no control and no transparency into what data, what assumptions went into the AI algorithms. So our team is working closely in partnership with federal and state emergency departments, health uh, agencies, NGOs, as well as educational partners, community colleges, high schools, and public organizations to ensure that there's trust that's developed throughout the entire AI pipeline. So I believe that AI can help make decisions for the benefit of society. The question is, are we ready for AI? Thank you.